Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with another episode of Global Space Program. And sometimes it ra when it rains, it pours, and for me it just poured down rain, because I did docking as a scenario. I failed miserably at the first step, and then it messed up the whole program, and I had to reinstall it again. And to add to all that frustration, at some point, I hit the mute switch on my microphone. So there was no audio, even of the recording, of me failing. So we gotta start over from scratch again. We're gonna be doing docking. Second attempt. Maybe I'll actually get somewhere this time. Unlikely. Now we start reinstalling the game has fixed it. We are back to actually having a ship in the right place. We're going to try and make a coplanar uh, orbit is what we're going to try and do. So this blue one is our orbit for the carbon rescuer. We're trying to get to stranded. So we're going to right click, we're going to left click on it actually and make it our target. And now it's going to be set as the target and turn yellow. To make a coplanar ob or, um, orbit, we want it to be the same angle here, which is the blue things. So let's see, time 34 minutes, time 13 minutes. Right. So you have these marks, which is your descending node and your ascending node that mark the closest points when you're going to get in come close to intersecting these orbits. Go ahead, create a maneuver node at the descending node. This is where I messed up right here. They want you to adjust the normal and to I think this is the normal. And by adjusting it they want you to no definitely don't want to go that way I want to go this way a little bit kinda to the point where they're about equal I think is what you want to do so if the is point minus point negative three point plus three if I can just adjust it a little bit. Four. Four. That's not. That's no good. So we'll just leave it at negative three and plus three. Alright. Execute that maneuver. So all they want us to do right now is make this and I don't think I particularly got that. I tried to do everything in one maneuver and I probably screwed up. So we're going to warp to the next maneuver. We're going to use our SAS advanced strategy to lock on when we get there to the direction that the maneuver is locked on. Right now we're locked on to the opposite direction. So if we throttled up we would actually be making a mistake. So the blue with the dot in it, the stability assist is the other option. It's just to keep it oh, okay so that's not the opposite maneuver. I don't know why you would actually use the SAS to uh, to go the opposite direction you set in your maneuver. That would be kind of silly. All the others are opposite. You have your pro retrograde, prograde, normal, anti-normal. Oh, I could have used that to figure out what those words were. Radial, anti-radial, target, anti-target, if you just want to run away from something. So we're trying to 
adjust and rotate the orbit. This by far can you will use the most amount of fuel and it used all my fuel in the first try. Trying to do trying to collide with this guy in such a fashion. It's very, very difficult to get anywhere along in line. start flying to very large distances even the width of these lines are not accurate enough and you're, you're zooming in to realize oh I'm actually really far away from where I want to be. Let's see. I'm hoping this works. I'm hoping there we go. Nice. So we got close enough. Whatever we really got. We got negative one six one six. Close enough to the point where we can get to the next section. Now we're going to do a transfer orbit. Now I'm making more progress than what I did. Outstanding, now your in your orbit and the Stranded ship's orbits are coplanar, but they're a little off, but not too much. The next step is to generate a transfer orbit, much like you would do when targeting another celestial body. Create a maneuver node on the orbit. Doesn't really matter where, since we're going to move it around. Uh, extend the prograde vertex until you get an intersecting orbit. Play with the prograde and the node position until you have the same colored intersex nodes close to each other. Ideally within a 5 kilometer uh, range. Alright. So it doesn't really matter. Well, well what perhaps this will add a maneuver. We're going to expand it out until we see the intersections and then we're going to start moving the node to a, as close together as we can and then we're gonna play with this some more and then try and move this as close together as we can Let's see, let's see, let's see. I play with this some more. And then a little bit. The fact that we're close to the parapsis, I think, is affecting us probably positively. Ever almost there. Come on. Ah, uh, and the Warp, we went past the warp, so yeah, that didn't help. Let's see. So, if we burn for 20 seconds, we'll get pretty close. That's 
that's pretty close right there. Let's do that. Lock on, maneuver, and fire. 31 seconds. Target position, intersection one to intersection two, intersection two. Let's see. What we want to do. Is get a little bit closer. I know we still haven't gotten to the point where we want. This is so fidgety. I didn't even get this far. We are trying to adjust these two points. your ships right into an orbit close to that but not that that is pretty bad intersection one what if we have a maneuver here and slow down
If I sound frustrated, you're not wrong. If I sound defeated, you're not wrong. just this. I'm just gonna fiddle with this and I'm gonna fiddle with that. And sure if people, if I knew what I was doing, I might be able to better do this, but even here in the training, are they really telling me what to do? Or they're just saying fiddle? Oh, I almost had it there. There we go. Next. Mm -hmm. That looks nice. Execute the maneuver as precisely as possible and you will most likely not get it exactly like the maneuver node progress, which is why precision is crucial. My uh, try to burn leaving exactly 0 mill milliseconds DV left. I recommend you burn at full throttle until you have about 10 mil meters per second to go, then cut your engines and start trying little by little. Right. Warp me here. Come on. Warp me here. me here. Warp to next maneuver. There we go. Now I'll I think right now we'd be safe if we went around, but I'm not certain. Getting 
close, they're getting close. And then maybe a little bit of that, a little bit more speed. Still very far apart. as this descending node goes away. That's what we need to do. And so I'm going to just target that and burn for another four seconds. Execute that maneuver as precisely as possible. You will most likely need to get it, not get it exactly. Anyways, we can click next. Mm -hmm. Good, now you're in a trajectory that will... See, there's no pause thing here. Uh, I suggest fine-tuning the encounter using your RCS thrusters instead. However, no matter how close you get, you'll going too fast to actually do anything about it. That's why you have to st step on the brakes. That of course is just a figure of speech because there's no such thing as brake pedals in the, a spacecraft. For now let's wait until we're about 60 kilometers away. Oh shoot, uh, we're probably already 60. Missed them. Uh, we probably already missed them. That's uh, check the nav ball that is in target mode. Just clicking the blossom in a few things while in target mode. Turn retrograde and burn full. So target mode is here. You have target orbit and surface. We should be in target mode. And so they want us to burn retrograde. So retrograde will select and using the advanced things is great so we're gonna slow down which is going to do just about nothing but we'll try we're here they're there we missed the ship. We missed the ship reading the training. There's no pause, right? How are you supposed to have read it? 
thing. Well, we might have been able to if that wasn't the last bit of our fuel. And thus is rocket science for you. We have used the last bit of the fuel. We got a lot further on this run than I did in the previous attempt to record this episode. I will admit that. We got several more pages, but it's just nearly impossible to dock with things. You might as well just hit the, uh, you might as well just hit the abort mission and blow up the ship. And we'll do that later, but let's get it. So pretend for a second, since we're not going to get anywhere on this, that the ship was right in front of us. That's what all this was trying to do, is trying to get the ship so it would be slightly right in front of us. We would go into docking mode, and then you have to use the... Let's see. You have to use the... Uh, Y'all, the roll, maybe a little bit the pitch the A and D things are adjusting this targeting but it's not doing anything to the ship and then the up and down are not doing anything but again not doing anything to the ship and normal maybe it's because it's it's in the wrong mode let's try that again let's just turn off the SAS then Yeah, ship is not reacting at all to any of this. Is that because of docking? Or is that because there are no RCS things on? Let's see. Um, there's RCS. Yeah, RCS has to be on. So you can adjust your with your RCS. This is the D key push, pointing you the other direction now. This is the A key pointing you the other direction. This is the S, S key pointing you down. And this is the... Uh, the W key pointing you up. Notice that the rockets are in the back, so if they were on the front axis, they might do something slightly different. And then SAS will stabilize yourself. So you probably want SAS on. You would normally attempt, if you were going to ever attempt docking, which is crazy. Uh, it's kind of silly to ever attempt it. You'd be using SAS and you'd be very careful and you'd make sure you plan out every single move. There's really too many, uh, too much planning uh, as far as maneuvers. Uh, for this game for my liking it's really not enough a game and too much a simulation maybe I it's on default normal mode but I don't think there's a lot to changes if I went to easy mode it's not going to certainly do anything for these tutorials that aren't helping uh, you can control the ship from uh, specific places uh, that normally you're controlling it from this point so there might be if you separate something and you want to uh, if you want to control one part versus the other part you can do that anyways here's your clampatron docking thing you would have if we ever got to it open that this would have docked to the front and you would have been able to transfer the people, maybe? I don't know how you would have been able to. You can get one person in the processing lab, so let's see. Let's see if I can show this. We can have one guy go EVA, and then he can climb down the ladder here. I need his RCS up, and then I need him to fly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. No, 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 no. Do not want to do this. This is exactly what you don't want to do. You 
you want to keep this a good example of trying to do anything and it's not working and we just lost the guy I mean bye bye maybe if you have to make the subtlest of movements And imagine trying to do this with the spacecraft. This is effectively docking, so but it's with the people. Alright. So I need him over to the processing lab. Which is let's see. A little bit forward. Open up. Open back. You basically have to keep a hundred percent in line with this thing, which is moving very fast. It doesn't look like it's moving at all, but this is moving super fast. Where's the door on the processing lab? Here it is. So see, you have to get... It would have been a matter of getting this guy to the hatch, which by the way, the ladder, it, when designing your ship, you want the ladder to actually be in line. So now we've got one guy in the uh, processing lab where here we are this is the processing lab with seats it seems like for three more crew members so that's how we would have transferred um, transferred crew members. I don't think there's a real way otherwise. And so we would have rescued them into that and then we would have tried to land. And how we were going to land or do any of that is amaz amazingly inane. If we shoot just retrograde and aim forward with the rocket control just trying to uh, slow ourselves down it's it's ridiculous there's no way you'll have enough mono propellant you'll n no way you'll be able to at all have that work I mean you can try all day in some smart, some better players probably could push like two or three buttons and try and use that to direct yourself, but the thrusters just aren't pointed in the right direction and they don't have the force. Huh. There's nothing more to show on this scenario. I can't do anything more. We messed it up because we ran out of fuel. You need to have unlimited fuel on these training things. This isn't training. This is just breaking people down. It was breaking me down at least. So, the last thing I can do is abort. Come on, abort. 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 Nope. Won't let me abort. Let's see. Well, I tried to abort. So 
we can switch to stranded though. That'll be a little bit interesting. Oh good, we triggered the next thing because we switched over. Here's the three guys we were going to try and save. They pretty much need to just get out and jump. Uh, they do have some solar panels. They could potentially at least survive and have heating and the necessary things. They already have their shield open. They have their little rocket thing. Next beginning. So, let's see, EVA. Rockets. Towards the planet we go. I won't do this for all of them. But this is really the only way you're even going to get your dead body back on the planet. Do you want to be buried in space or do you want to be buried in, uh, on your planet. I'm pointing all my inner, all my propellant towards the ship. And will that let me think? Now, if I was smart, I'd be going retrograde to which way I'm spinning, which is probably somewhere about that way and making a smaller orbit, but whatever. This, I don't think this will give me an orbit or anything, really. I have jumped out of low orbits, but I'm still 700, uh, seven, what is that, 700,000 meters. So, it actually being able to stop me, um, and having a parachute on your back isn't enough. You would need to basically be riding a small escape pod to even have a chance. Which we do actually have small escape pods, and they did do that jump from orbit. Red Bull thing. And this is really boring too. We're just, we're still, still shooting. And then when I rotate, it points him in a different direction so I can't see his face. Which kind of stinks. up or warp so we'll do that technically it's claiming this is a ship we're going to use the last bit of the propellant then I'm going to go into warp and then I'm going to call it the end of this episode this has been a frustrating episode because of having to do it twice uh, it's also frustrating because I knew we weren't going to be able to ever get the docking done. It would have been nice if they would broke that up into parts and I could have gotten at least most of the parts done and you could skip things or have it automatically do things for you. Uh, it, just hitting this dead wall, this brick wall of no you can't do it. Uh, it doesn't look like I have any more propellant. Well, but I do have just a little bit still. Choose that last bit of it. Oh. Now you have this stage only button that if you click that it will limit your fuel to the stage you're actually in. But that doesn't really have anything to do with jumping to the planet. So, we're going to just orbit this thing and see if we ever 
even made a degrading orbit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It gets me very high. And then it gets me down to about four. Uh, see, it, it moves to kilometers at one point. And then we get below kilometers for just a second. And we're still 400,000 meters. We are in a stable elliptical orbit. And here we are right here, Bill Kerman. It's almost nothing if you watch it different than what well it is actually quite different to the two ships I managed to somehow accidentally fling myself further and get my parapsis down just a tiny bit well so if you're gonna jump jump and burn retrograde like it's been telling it Otherwise, you're going to end up stranded, and then you have to, then you're going to have a guy who does not have any, th any choice. He's just going to be stuck in space forever. I hope he enjoys it. <sighs> in scenario. You're going to strand a lot of people playing Kerbal Space Program. It stinks and they've put a um, a cost to it that was not there before. There used to be... See, when you start a new game, you can play as Career, Sandbox, or Science. In Career Mode, you have to manage all aspects of your Space Program. In Science Mode, you must gain a scientific data to research technologies fund and reputation are disabled or sandbox uh, in sandbox mode all parts and features are available from the start and then you have some difficulty settings here that um, change just a little bit so I'd say definitely play in sandbox to begin with and then try career but I won't be doing that. There's no point. Uh, anyways, next episodes we're gonna try an insane attempt to redirect an asteroid and see how far we can get with that. Do I want to really do this? Uh, these though, I can do this one. I could probably do some of these. I will try them once. I will try the scenarios once. And then I think I know what we're going to do. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with what I originally thought. We're, I'm going to put out episodes in career mode just whenever I feel like it. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you come back and check every now and then. Otherwise you're not going to probably see those. I'm not going to get into like a daily recording. I'm already getting frustrated with Kerbal Space Program, so I might only make a few episodes all together. Um, it still needs some bug fixes. It still needs some features. It still needs some uh, ability to make it easier. Uh, if you click the KSP Community button here, by the way, that takes you to the website you can also get add-ons and mods usually by through the community anyways that was my second failed attempt at trying to orbit and I'm done with trying to trying to talk not orbit it's a really really difficult process really really difficult if you're having trouble in Kerbal Space Program you're not alone not alone by far anyways as always I ask you to like this video share it Subscribe to my channel, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, 
There are two ways you can do that. One is clicking on my name right over. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. The other way you can do it is by clicking on the Amazon.com link in the description and just shopping normally. If you want to follow me or friend me on any, practically any social media site, including Steam and Battle.net, all that information is down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.